Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. <sighs> I'm lost. Last time, Marco's penis envy caused the end of the world. Whatever shall we do? <sighs> I mean, to be fair, Stock does probably have an enormous schlong, but yeah, we need to uh, get that drink for the Gutra there in order to get through this. Wherever can we get it? Well, if you recall, I think someone was saying it was a drink from, uh, what was that place? Corne Village. So we need to go back there. So let's see. You could start from the resistance node here and just walk there, but that would take a little longer. So let's see. Not that one. Yeah. We want to go to the Wounded Auto node, even though, yeah, there's a cutscene here and we're probably intended to just keep on going. Uh, once you do clear the cutscene there. We still have access to a Cornet Village from here. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, once you go through the Sand Fortress there, you lose the access to all the previous areas in this chapter. So, yes. so that's one reason why I went to, uh, well, this node here, this exact node. Speaking of which, I'm actually looking for a famous alcohol. Rumor says it's made here. So, yeah, if you recall, this guy was saying something about mixing beverages or goblin killer or... I forget exactly what he was saying, but this is the guy you need to talk to in order to get the drink. That's right. There's someone I owe a favor to who would love the chance to taste it. Yeah, I'd like to help Marco return the favor. Yes! To the drunk Gutral. But, alright. Much appreciated. This will undoubtedly brighten his day. <laughs> I like the way he says that. It's like <laughs> he's saying it like he will take care of you or something like that. <laughs> brighten his day. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, now we got the drink there. So let's go back to over here. Actually, yeah, I, I know I got the equipment set up. I think I do. I better. I got the drink for you. Is this what you want? Indeed. How do you even know that just by looking at it? Say. Calm yourself. Here. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> Why did they still call him a bodyguard? I mean, he's not a bodyguard for the restaurant now. And besides, back then, he was just a bouncer. But whatever. Hey, quit making a scene. Well, he's drunk. What do you expect? Well, in a manner of speaking, yes. Fine. Let's take this outside. Ha uh ha. -huh. How hard can you possibly be? You shouldn't underestimate me. Yeah, you, you don't want to uh, underestimate Marco, dude. That, that would be a bad idea. No, we can leave it up to him. Surely, things will work out better this time around. Oh. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully he can handle the drunken mad cow technique. Here goes. For boss time against the drunk food. Okay, so I forget what that does. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about that right now. Okay, well, fortunately this guy is weak to sleep. Heads up. So you just put that on him, and it turns out to be a very easy fight here. You do have to win this fight though. But once he's drunk, then it's, I guess it's really easy for him to fall asleep for some reason. So just keep on using the change command until you get 10 consecutive turns. And that'll be that. Eventually, I will want Marco to use a might herb on himself because, well, his DPS is pretty terrible without buffs there. That's one of the reasons why I gave him magic boosting 
equipment also, so that way uh, boost the power of the Might Herb that he would use on himself there. And then, let's see, let's grapple him to the front row so I can deal a little more damage. And then just a whole bunch of attack commands should get the job done there. Uh, the Drunk Blue Troll is also weak to sleep. So if you don't want to use uh, sleep on him, curse would be another way of uh, hurting him a bit. But even then, this fight is still relatively easy. I mean, being a one-on-one -on -one battle, I mean, how hard can they actually let him hit you? How do you like that? <laughs> Angry face. Here you go. Aww. That sounds great. I'll come back here as soon as I finish one last mission. Yeah, surely it won't last too long to save the world. And when I do, I promise to work as your bouncer forever. Diggity. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Yes? Yeah, now let's get you drunk instead. Oh, I, I guess. Okay. Well, he's dead, so there's only one thing left to do. Search him for loose change. Unless he's only mostly dead. But, alright, a relatively easy problem to solve there. Welcome aboard, Stock. Did you find the artifact at the bottom of a bottle or something? <laughs> I don't know why, but it just sounds unusual to me, or amusing. Practically. Anyway, here. Yeah, pretty much. Thanks! So what do we do? Just skin the guy for the pelt? But, alright, and we get a new ability for Marco there. I'll use that on him in just a moment. You seem down. Did something happen in that world? Oh, not to me. It's nothing. I just... wouldn't mind if that possible world was the real one. No! Oh. No. You found a timeline better than your own. I see. Uh, uh, no, not from my perspective. Yes. It's difficult to accept that I'm powerless to bring the joy of that world with me. I... I don't think so. Yet, if I understand the root of that joy, I can make sure my own world eventually feels the same. Oh, maybe... Uh... Yeah, you're right. You don't want to mess with Marco's timeline there, Stack. No. No. But, okay, we're done here. That's the only quest she had for us this time. Let's see. Okay, I did have the right setup there. So, yeah, having a bunch of magic boosting equipment really helps the power of the Might Herb there. And, yeah, that helps out with the side quest there. So, all right. So now we're done with that. And let's return to the main storyline then. We got some things that we can do over there now. We got the, well, we routed DS. Off the battlefield. Now it's time to kick this revolution into overdrive. Hmm. Scala, right? Hey, do you remember when we got gassed? No, I was unconscious at the time. Mark and I were taken to Scala. Oh, okay. Right. That's where Rainy beat the daylights out of that weird guy. <laughs> Why would you be annoyed by that, Rainy? <laughs> Marco! Anyway... Shut up! We passed through this wasteland on our way from Scala to Cygnus, so I know the way. Well, I know the way, too. It's directly north from here. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. Well, we haven't gone there before, but before going through the Atolia wasteland here, Let's go on back to Cygnus. There's a lot of side quests for us to do here. So first things first, let's go back and talk to Garland there. 
I could rearrange my setup at this point, but we're going to be jumping around time quite a bit with these side quests, so I'll worry about that later. Oh, could you do something for me on your way to Skull? Hey, how's it going? What is it? During the last battle with Granolk, I lost my armor. Ah, was it like, uh, hedges? It's not expensive, but it's important to me. I looked for it, but by the time I realized it was gone, it was buried in the Atolia Wasteland Sands. Maybe you shouldn't have brought it with you then. If you manage to find it, I'll make sure you're properly rewarded. Oh, sure, why not? I'm counting on you. And, uh, keep this a secret. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. So let's see. Normally I would bring Erica with me into the Atolia Wasteland, but because, well, it's a desert reason. What, what element do you think the enemies would be weak to there? If you say fire, I'm gonna hit you. Well, let's see. Okay, we got... Oh, these guys are here. Oh. Well, apparently not. Good, good. Maybe you should get, like, an honest job or something. Oh. Darn. Well, we could get him a job, I guess. There are an item that could do that for us. But, alright, we can see what we can do. Alright, so now, let's go to the Atolia Wasteland there. I'm gonna ignore all the enemies there, because, for now, that is, even though there are some new enemies there, because we're gonna get some, a lot of help to deal with those enemies after we do some side quests. So, let's head on over here then. Okay, so if you recall, when we, well, when we first came here, there was a guy we found at the bottom of the well who said, Hey, come back and see me when you're not busy fighting a war here for a change. But, well, now we're done with the battle here, so we can talk to him again. Oh, and it looks like they got more, uh, whatever these things are, mana shards. Let's go. Oh, I don't see why we couldn't have done that before. Mm. Oh, nice name. What do you mean? Isn't that the name of the continent? Mm. Well, that could have been Rosh. And who is this Master Van Coor? I don't know that name. <laughs> well, yeah, I could figure that out. Mm. Now, how powerful could he possibly be? <laughs> you want me to believe that he knows who I am because of that? Evidently. Mm. But... Say but again. What does this Master Van Coor want with me? Mm. Oh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I could think of one or two people who could do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, why not? So I should go see this Master? Mm. Is he like an uh, all-powerful entity or something? No. Nah. <laughs> No, that's another game of yours. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, why not? Mm. Well, we've already gotten some packs earlier in the game, if you recall. Sure, why not? Where do we go to find this guy, anyway? That's enough pleasantries for now. I need to know where these three disciples are. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I was gonna say, what happened to the first one? No, I guess that he would be the first one. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess everyone's gotta start somewhere. So I have to find those disciples, get the three packs, and come back here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, Stock is the JRPG protagonist and the ace. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember people saying those lines before. That's the password? Hmm. Oh, okay, dude. Does it involve violence? Hmm. But, alright. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of packs here that we gotta get and learn some really good abilities with that, too. Okay, so let's see. We're done with our business here. So we got the quest. Let me see for a moment here. Okay, well now that uh, the battle is over, those barricades that were blocking our path to the north are, well, they're gone. Or at least we can get past them somehow. Okay, whoa! Yeah, those guys are cockatrices. You want to watch out for them. Just like all good JRPGs. They follow me everywhere! Okay, where do we go from here then? Okay, so we got that. Let's see. Okay, we need to keep going up, and in order to do that, I am going to need the barrel because there are some boulders up above that, yeah, we can't get past otherwise. But yeah, just stay away from these guys. We could have met up with these guys earlier back at the, uh, uh, what is it, at the Vault of Time, or a lot of these enemies are back there. Hmm? What was that? Ha-ha! Well, there's the armlet. This seems to be the armlet that Garland spoke of. I should deliver it to him. Sounds like a plan! Okay, so we got that there. Let's see. Okay, so now, let's see. Yeah, let's get out of here, man. There's some other treasure that we could find around here, but I'll do that on the next trip. Whoa! Didn't even see that guy there. It came out of nowhere. Well, I mean, it, it is underground and all that, so I suppose that makes sense. Whoa! I suppose I could just use Vanish full time so I don't run into enemies like that. But, alright, yeah, now let's talk to Garland now that we've uh, gotten that moon arm for him. Hopefully he's got a decent reward for us this time. See you brought what I asked. Oh, yeah, just kind of stumbled upon it with monocyte. Yes, this is it. Thank you. It looks pretty old. I'm sure you noticed that it's a toy armlet. Oh, what's the difference? My parents bought it for me when I was a child. Oh. And that was their first and last gift to me. Nice. That was the night I became a gladiator. What happened to your parents? Back then, it was quite common for fighting pits to feature gladiatorial combat between kids. Not. Before I knew it, I was another one of the slave child warriors of Cygnus. I needed to keep winning to stay alive. And through it all, this armlet never broke and was never stolen. Now, it belongs to the king. This armlet was the only constant in all of my victories. You mean besides, you know, you? You have my eternal gratitude. Take this. Hey, all right. I couldn't just get rid of it. When I realized it was gone, I couldn't stop thinking about it. This armlet was actually the consolation prize in a lottery. Oh, really? I begged my parents to enter. I wanted the grand prize, a helm. I got this instead. Sorry for asking you guys to go after something this trivial. <laughs> oh, we were just in the area. 
What's this? Another side quest? Well, let me see what we got going on here. Let's see. Stock. Hmm. Okay, so we got the Piety Edge, and the Tsunawatari also lowers your speed quite a bit. But, let me see. Yeah, it has no magic stat on it. So, I'd probably only use that on stock there. But even then, yeah, I would prefer the Piety Edge as far as, like, swords like that would go there. But, alright, we're done there. Hey, can I ask a favor from you? Oh, what's this? What's wrong? Read this. To avenge my late father, I challenge you to a duel. Meet me in the outskirts of the city. Who would say that? What is this? It's from the former Prince of Cygnus. As you know, I took over Cygnus by defeating the previous ruler. Ah. He had a child, however, so I let them go free after I'd won. But as they were running away, the people of Cygnus caught and killed their former king. Well, that's his problem. Doesn't that show just how much the citizenry despised him? That too. Pretty much. But had I handled things better, he might not have ended up dead. Well, that's not your fault. You didn't kill them. And his son, who's now a bandit, might not have fallen so low. Not. So, what do you need me to do? Give him this money. He's only a boy. I want him to use this money to get his life back together and to stop obsessing over revenge. So, a bribe? And what if he refuses? I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Are you willing to lend a hand? Sure, why not? Thank you for putting the, uh, what is it, negative option first. So you'll do it. Good. He should be waiting in the outskirts of the city, yes? Yeah. If he hasn't given up on revenge, that is. Well, alright, let's see what we can do there. But yeah, this is a new quest added to the 3DS version of the game. It wasn't in the original. But you can still do it during the main storyline, unlike the, like, Dunamis quests and all that. So here's the guy we're looking for. Ow. Oh. Well, yeah, he's a prince. What do you expect? But, yeah, let's talk to him. What is it? How's it going? Forget about this revenge angle you're trying to take. It won't serve you any good. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. That's right. Here, use this to start your life anew on the right path. <sighs> Oh. Okay, that could be arranged, too. Well, your father was kind of a jerk. Oh. Yeah, that's true. We, we can't let him go through with this, so... Besides, he wouldn't stand a chance. That, too. Help you with that. And I mean no offense by this, but I doubt you could defeat Garland. Uh, what's the worst that he could possibly do? Hopefully that will help him abandon his dreams of revenge. I hope so. Whoa! Damn it! Let my guard down. Didn't think the boy What he take him out? What? Hey! Well, he's more skilled than we would have thought. Evidently not. Well, wasn't he already planning to do that anyway? Well, I guess he was planning originally on challenging him to like single combat or something like a direct assault rather than using uh what is it stealth or whatever well, that didn't go as planned it seems words alone couldn't calm his emotions 
My suggestion to you is this. Find a way to prevent this quarrel from escalating. But keep in mind, matters of the heart are not simple affairs. Well, yeah, Marco taught me all about that. Either way, you can't save the continent if Cygnus should fall. You have to retry. Shall we record the actions you've taken? Well, okay, I'll give it another shot. But yeah, that didn't work out so well. Whoops. But yeah, I like how they uh, add a few quests for important NPCs throughout the game like that. It's a nice touch. But not too many where it's like a hundred hour game all of a sudden either. Okay, so yeah, talk to him again. And yeah, let them fight. Better to face a direct assault Frontal Assault, or DEATH BY FRONTAL ASSAULT! Very well. I'll tell Garland to accept this duel of yours. Thank you. Good for you. I don't think you know your limits. How did Ghost talk? The bag of gold I'm carrying should tell you everything. So, he still wants to do it. No choice but to fight him with everything I've got. What? You gonna murder the poor kid? Don't take him lightly, Garland. You'd be putting yourself in real danger by dueling him. So what? Win or lose, live or die. I started this fight. Now I'm going to end it. Well, I guess you gotta prepare for the consequences. But the outskirts of town are no place for a prince to do battle. Hey! Someone go fetch the late king's son. We'll hold a royal duel in the castle's courtyard. Look at you. A man full grown. I thought he was still a boy. Hey. I won't just roll over and die. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're done here. Consider this your new lease on life. What will you do with it? Did your father want you to live hell-bent on seeking vengeance? Probably. Uh... Or not. You're just letting him go? He faced me like a man. I'm sure the late king is proud of him. <laughs> Maybe someday he'll be strong enough to take my place. I suppose time will tell. So, do we get anything for doing that? You've been a great help. Take this with my gratitude. Hey, all right. But all right, we're done there. Let me see. Uh, let me check out the side quest there. Yeah, that's a critical side quest, the new one. And that'll unlock another scene during the ending. Or, er, the regular main ending of the game there. So that's pretty nice. All right. And we got a couple items here, actually. Let me see. We got... Where is it? Okay, we got the Lucky Fruit. We'll just use that on stock to help out with stealing. And the Art of Fortitude that we got with Marco there. I forget exactly what that does. I know it's a support skill, but uh, let me see. Uh, oh, okay, so I guess it's like a re-raise sort of thing or something. Uh, yeah, it's not that extraordinary, but well, it is there. But can we find the other disciples of Master Vancouver? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!